Alright guys, what is up and welcome back to Gary's Mod. So today we'll be taking a look at something I'm really excited to look at. And that is the Kingdom Hearts Keyblade Pack. Yes, I am a huge fan of Kingdom Hearts. If you guys didn't know, it's actually my favorite video game ever made. Uh, and favorite video game series. And I figured what better way than do it in a Kingdom Hearts map. Well, I couldn't find one. Instead, I looked for a Disney map, and this came up. This is the Disney Adventurers Club, which was a real place. But I think that they took it down in, like, 2008. The map creator is, uh... In fact, it should be in here somewhere. There he is. It's by Brerbin. Brerbin, thank you. Now, guys, this is one of those maps that has, like, all these cool little secret things with it. And these are my favorite maps in Gmod. I love abstract stuff, if you guys know. Some of you guys may even remember my old abstract video series where I look, took a look at a bunch of abstract video or maps, and it was so awesome. Like, I love those kind of maps, and like these kind of maps too. Like, I'll give you guys some example here. All right, so like here we are in this really weird like piano room, and uh, you can hear an organ play, and if you go over here, there's a Left 4 Dead book. Pull that, it says hard rain, it starts raining in the room! Like, that's so cool, and then there's another one where it does something else, the book's up there. Like, these are just the maps I absolutely adore. What's this do? Whoa. Oh, that's cool, it actually moves the boat! That is so cool, like, these weird, mystical, like, magical almost maps are my favorite kind of maps in Gmod. So if you guys have any maps or know any maps that are like this, let me know down below. Also, if you want to leave a suggestion, because doing videos every day is very tiring, uh, let me know what you want me to do in the next video, any kind of mod. Just leave it down in the comment section down below, and I'll take a look at it. Alright guys, with all that out of the way, I know you guys hate probably when I talk for like two minutes, I do apologize. Uh, I'll stop doing that, I'll get more to the point, but I want you guys to know about how I feel. This is the Axel Chakram. So, as we all know Axel, if you know Kingdom Hearts, Axel is a nobody, and... One that seemingly has a heart, honestly. And we all know nobody's don't have hearts. So, this is his primary weapon he uses. And we're going to see exactly what happens. So, here's all the weapons right here. When you click a weapon, it actually does put you into third person mode automatically. So, you don't have any, any control over that. But that's alright. We're going to get over here so we don't get sued from all this music. In fact, guys, there's, yeah, there's actually an outside here. It's pretty nice, like, just seeing the water and hearing the crickets. I would have loved to see this place in real life. I'm really sad that I, I'm, ne I'm never going to be able to see it now. Alright, sadness is over. Now we get into Kingdom Hearts. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to attack him. And <laughs> so, that's really cool that they actually do have custom effects. They do indeed have effects when you hit someone with it. So, what are you doing, Odessa? What are you looking at? 45 damage. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are all going to do the same damage. But just to let you guys know, when you do hit objects, it does... Make that make like that little clash sound. We'll see if it's different between the two or just all the weapons. Next up is Bond of Flame, which I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, but play Kingdom Hearts 3D and you'll understand. So this is the first Keyblade of the whole group, so we're going to see. Alright, it does still do 45 damage, but I think it sounds different, just to really verify this. Okay, it actually sounds the exact same. And now we got Goofy Shield. Now, I think you'd actually be able to block with this, but unfortunately, no. You can... Let me get in here real quick. You cannot block with this. Uh, in fact, this is a weapon, so if only Goofy used this in the real game. Just kidding. It's Donald. Donald's the one that's useless. Not, not Goofy. Goofy's cool. So we're going to smack these guys in the face. Whoa! Hold up. We got a difference here. 18 damage. That is much less than 45. So... It seems there is some kind of variation, and there actually was some different sound effects. It just sounds like metal hitting someone's face. What the, what the frick? Where'd he... What? Where'd he go? Oh. Odessa. Uh, I don't know where he went. Guys, Odessa will always be remembered. But yeah, guys, this map is freaking amazing. Look, look at all, look at all like, these little tiny... Like, look at this. What even is that thing? Like, see these, like, pictures? Like, there's so much detail. So the guy who made this map... Props to you. Here we have Kyrie's Keyblade. Uh, spoiler alert, but yeah, Kyrie's Keyblade. <laughs> so hitting something with it does make the same sound. The effects may be different, like when you actually hit them. 
All right, guys, we're going to see if G-Man's going to do something. G-Man, you've been, you've been looking at me funny all day, so I'm going to smack you with a giant key because that's, that's how we do things around here. All right, 45 damage. Now, again, the effect might be different, like the stars and everything. They should be because that's kind of what happens between the Keyblades. I don't think this is the case. Um, unfortunately, I think a lot of these Keyblades are just reskinned with the exact same effects and damage. But I could not skip this, guys. Next up, we have Mickey's Keyblade, and this is the Keyblade Mickey. So, yeah, pretty much. All right, we're going to smack with Destin in the face. That definitely one-shotted like all the others have. Any effect difference? No. So we're going to mix it up a bit, guys. All right, guys, next up, we have the Kingdom Key, and we're going to try this baby out. This is the key Sora uses. This is the Kingdom Key, although it looks pretty damn thick. Uh, I don't know what kind of enhancements uh, Sora's been taking. But regardless, we're going to smack someone in the face with this big, long key. Here we go. Um, I'm pretty sure that Kingdom Hearts just got an M rating. And if it didn't, it definitely deserves it. <laughs> Disney, um, I don't think we expected this room to ever be covered in blood and gibs and body parts. But it, it is today because this is Necros videos and we like to change things up. Next up is the Dragoon Spear, which is one of the nobodies in the games, and this is one of the weapons they have. Kind of weird that they don't have all the other nobody weapons, but uh, oh well, we're just going to stab someone with it anyway. Alright, so Dr. Kleiner, we haven't really killed you much, and look at the... You guys see the shadow down there? <laughs> of my spear? It's like to the left. Uh, you know what, Kleiner? It's your fault. What the f... Guys, what happens in the Adventurer's Club stays in the Adventurer's Club. Maybe this is why they actually closed the place down. Here's the bottom floor, guys, in case you guys didn't get a good look at this. Look at that photorealistic picture up there. That's kind of cre creepy. It's not even a picture, it's a sculpture, but oh well. This is the Oath Keeper, guys. This is obviously when Kyrie gives you the charm and says, give it back someday. And you do. Spoiler alert. Hey, Harambi. Harambi. Tomato, tomato. All right, Oath Keeper. Can we keep this oath? If Kyrie's oath was to splatter someone into a million pieces, yeah, we did that. But what about the body on the floor? We actually did kill two people with this, but can we finish him off? Nope. Apparently not, guys. This has become a very morbid version of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I never wanted Kingdom Hearts to go this way. What the heck is that? This is the Oblivion, my favorite Keyblade that you get through the games. Uh, my actual real favorite Keyblade is the Way to Dawn, but obviously that's that's kind of uh, Riku's Keyblade. But we're in this room now, guys. We're going to smack someone in the face with this Keyblade. Extraordinarily awesome and strong and one of my favorites, as I've said. So what about G-Man now? First, we're going to kill Odessa. All right, <laughs> I got my fill. <laughs> um, <laughs> everyone's going to have a, a bit of Odessa in their drink today. What about you, G-Man? What, what are you even looking at? Okay, uh, don't, don't mess with G-Man. Next up is the Photon Debugger. It's about to get a little bit of Tron up in here. I don't even know why I'm showing all these off. They pretty much do the same thing, but I figured you guys want to see what they look like, and imagine having a Keyblade battle. Boom. Sandbox Insanity right there, guys. I haven't done a video on that in, like, so long. I really got to get on that. First, I need friends. I do have friends. It's just I don't ask them to do videos because I suck. But I will. Soon. All right, guys. Barney's already been a swell guy. This is going to end badly, so I'm going to step back. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god, what the frick did I even do? It's just a freaking Keyblade. Well, we all know the power of the Keyblade, guys, and it should not be, uh, should not be underestimated. But, uh, like, why didn't that ever happen to, with Sora? When, when he st when he hits Zemnus in the back with both those Keyblades, why didn't he just split into two pieces and blood and guts went everywhere? I'll tell you why. Because it's a freaking E game, and they wouldn't do that. And plus, that would ruin the whole series. But that's why we're playing this right now, so we can see what would happen. And he would be he would be in a million pieces, and there'd be blood everywhere. All right, guys. For those who like to struggle, or if you make them struggle because you split them into a million pieces, this is your weapon. This is the struggle weapon. Now, obviously, this is from the beginning of the, f the second Kingdom Hearts game, where you play as Roxas, and you beat the shit out of kids. Man, that game... Needs to consider a different rating. But alas, guys, we're going to go deep today. Oh, 15 damage. So it's pretty much like uh, like the, the shield. Next up, guys, is the two across. This is actually one of my favorite designed Keyblades in the whole game and all of the series. 
is this Keyblade right here. It looks so freaking awesome. If you guys don't know, I'm a big Nobody fan. Heartless, yeah, whatever. But Nobody's though, whoa. I actually plan on getting a Nobody tattoo on my chest at some point in my life. Because I'm a nobody. I am no one. No one loves me. JK. Alright, guys. There's blood everywhere. My FPS is dipping. So we're going to end this video soon. We're going to kill these guys real quick. And then we're going to see the aftermath of... Ooh. Ooh. No, no, no gore? No blood? Whoa. I don't know if I can live with that. Ah, much better. Although I didn't really expect to die. Alright, guys. Way to the dawn. My favorite Keyblade. And the Keyblade used by Riku. I am so excited to smack someone in the face with this. And... That's what she said. Well, actually, wait, that's kind of weird, because why would she have a thing to smack someone in the face with? You know what? Let's, let's stop talking. This video is R-rated enough, so we're going to kill Odessa. That was very <laughs> that was very pleasing. We're going to kill him, and we're going to kill him. You want to be... Oh, my God! Did you see how far he flew? You want to be careful, because, um, like, for some reason, when you, like, attack them, and they're close to you, like, you die somehow. All right, guys, here's winner's proof. This is a weird looking Keyblade, I think it was introduced in Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, uh, where pretty much, like, when you defeat these weird organization looking Heartless, uh, you get this weird Keyblade. Very interesting design. And apparently my shadow thinks it's, like, my thingy majig. I don't know what's going on there. We're gonna kill a hunter, guys. I'm tired of killing all the cheap, weak NPCs. We're gonna kill some really strong ones here. Whoa! Oh, this feels like real Kingdom Hearts now. I'm gonna die so bad. <laughs> so bad. Oh, and then I get gibbed. Oh, but here's Zaldin's spear. See, why why, is he, why does Zaldin get his spear? What about, like, freaking... What about... Whatever. Alright, guys, we'll finish him off. Ha-ha! <laughs> that was exactly what we needed, and just to think, we only needed to swing at it one more time, and it would have been it. Alright, guys, with all that out of the way... Thank you guys so much for watching, but before we end the video, let's look at the aftermath of what everything happened. Let's see what happened to the Adventurers Club. Alright, some of the blood- Whoa, what the heck are you doing still alive? Whoa, we can't have that. Hold up. Hold up, hold up. Alright, peace is restored. But for real, guys, let's go check this out. Go down here. So, it looks like some of the blood- Maybe- Maybe we didn't go as crazy as I thought I did. I didn't actually clean up anything. Oh my god, here we go. This is where the massacre happened. Maybe this is why the place closed. What if that actually happened? Like some weird killer named Necros, and that was like his weird name, uh, came in and like massacred a bunch of weird looking dudes named Odessa. But that would not happen, obviously. <laughs> that, that, there's no way that'd be real. But anyway, guys, this is an amazing map. One of my favorite maps I've ever looked at. Again, if you guys know any map like this, let me know down below. I'm, a, I'm definitely going to include this in my next top 10 maps, which I'm going to be doing very soon. Top 10's coming very soon, guys. I promise. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching and so much for supporting me. And I uh, hope you guys are enjoying these everyday uploads because I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep doing it. But if you want to help me out, you can leave a suggestion for a next mod showcase idea or a Sandbox Insanity idea or a three awesome mods idea, or any kind of idea, pretty much, just leave it down below if you want to. Also, let me know what you thought about the video down below as well. And if you want to leave a like down below, you can do that, or subscribe if you're not already. And check out my second channel where I do Doom videos, I'll have a new Doom video up later today as well. And of course, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, farewell. And I'm going to go back in there and try to kill more Odessas.